My heart just dropped because it was just so unexpected. And then the way she went was like a cause for it. Like she didn't deserve that. Deja Hood was missing for a day until Tyler police found her lifeless body. Deja was killed by someone she considered a friend. I know for a fact whatever he did to her, she had a, she had a strong fight. This is the story of Deja Hood, a vibrant and caring 18-year-old from Tyler, Texas with dreams, a nurturing spirit, and a loving heart. However, tragedy struck when Deja went missing after spending time with friends. Deja would later be discovered brutally murdered with one of her close friends confessing to the horrific crime. Her untimely death sent shockwaves through her community, and the unbelievable reason her friend provided for taking her life would shock all of those who knew and loved her, and would even shock the detectives working on the case. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Tyler, Texas. Tyler is a city nestled in the heart of East Texas. This city's welcoming atmosphere and friendly residents reflect the warm spirit of Texas, making it a place where neighbors become friends and hospitality is a way of life. 18-year-old Deja Shanice Hood, a resident of Tyler, Texas, was a remarkable individual, known for her caring nature and the strong bond she shared with her family and friends. Deja had a heart that overflowed with love and compassion, often adopting a maternal role among her friends. Her caring disposition extended to everyone she met. Aspiring to carve out a career for herself, Deja had a passion for hairstyling, wig installations, and experimenting with various creative pursuits. She was a young woman brimming with ambition and a desire to make her mark in the world. However, tragedy struck when Deja went missing after venturing out on a Monday to spend time with friends. Her disappearance sent her family and friends into a state of panic and despair. It was uncharacteristic of her not to respond to calls or let people know where she was, prompting her mother, Lakita Jordan, to contact the Tyler police in a desperate bid to find her daughter. Alarming concerns arose when she failed to return home and remained unresponsive to calls and text messages from concerned family members. Her loved ones reported her missing at 12.40 a.m. on Tuesday. Included in the group of friends that Deja went out with was 19-year-old Jamaria Britton. The following day, Tuesday at around 1 p.m., officers arrived at Britton's apartment to question him. When police first arrived at his apartment, officers said they noticed the word loser spray painted on the wall of his entryway. Britton stated that his ex-girlfriend had sprayed the paint a few days prior. Upon further examination of the spray paint marks, officers observed a red substance resembling a saturated blood spot within the carpet's fibers. Britton subsequently explained that the blood stain originated from his dog, citing a recent medical problem the animal had experienced. The situation took a horrifying turn when they uncovered Deja Hood's lifeless body. She had been concealed within trash bags, securely bound with tape, and wrapped in a bedsheet, all behind the Holly Tree Apartments complex in the creek bed where Britton resided. Britton initially provided a conflicting account of the events leading up to Deja's disappearance. Britton claimed that on the day in question, he had picked up Deja at her apartment and a one-year-old child she was caring for, intending to seek her assistance in packing up his apartment so that he could move. Britton's account continued with Deja briefly leaving his apartment to engage in a conversation with someone in a black Chevrolet pickup. Upon her return, Britton claimed that Deja informed him that she intended to leave, taking the child with her. While speaking to investigators, Britton eventually admitted to the murder of his friend Deja and the subsequent disposal of her remains. He stated that he had been dealing with feelings of anger before the murder. He provided a detailed and disturbing account of the heinous acts he had committed, shedding light on the nightmarish circumstances surrounding Deja Hood's tragic demise. Britton told investigators that while Deja and the child were at his apartment, he was in the kitchen alone, thinking about his ex-girlfriend and the breakup. Britton admitted to a fit of uncontrollable rage, which led him to brutally assault Deja, using an object to beat her and strangling her. His anger, he claimed, was triggered when Deja playfully tugged at his ear in a manner reminiscent of his ex-girlfriend. Believing Deja to be deceased, Britton contemplated ending himself with a gun in hand, but an unexpected knock at his door by a neighbor interrupted his plan. Desperate to conceal the crime scene, Britton disguised the situation from the visitor, claiming he was fine. Britton said he then drove the child back to Deja's mother's apartment before returning to his own apartment. In a shocking revelation, Britton disclosed that he discovered Deja was still alive upon his return. 
In a gruesome act, he allegedly stabbed her with a kitchen knife before wrapping her lifeless body in layers of trash bags, tape, and a bedsheet. Britton then disposed of Deja's remains by tossing them over a fence and attempting to conceal them beneath a layer of leaves. Investigators made a critical discovery when they observed Britton's vehicle, parked nearby, which revealed a muddy shoe and latex gloves, matching the kind found near the ravine, where Deja's body was ultimately discovered by a Tyler police officer, concealed behind a safety fence. Jamoria Britton now faces a charge of murder and has been booked into the Smith County Jail with a bond set at $1 million. 18-year-old Deja Hood was reported missing by her family on Monday. Yesterday, her body was found in a creek behind the Holly Tree apartment complex where her suspected killer was living. Investigators say she was killed by someone she considered a friend. Even though he's uh, been arrested, uh, there's still a lot of follow-up. Jamaria Britton is charged with murder and the death of Deja Hood. According to the arrest affidavit, he picked her up from her home and brought her to his apartment at the Holly Tree Complex. Deja was babysitting a one-year-old child who came with her to Britton's apartment. Britton told investigators he went into a fit of rage after Deja playfully tugged his ear, reminding him of his ex-girlfriend. The affidavit says he confessed to smashing her head with a wine bottle, choking her and hitting her with a hammer until the handle broke off. He says he left the scene to return the one-year-old baby to Hood's house. When he returned to his apartment, he found Hood still alive. That's when he told police he stabbed her multiple times. It was around uh, just before 1 p.m. where they found the evidence behind one of the uh, apartment buildings. That evidence included footprints leading to her body, which was found wrapped up in a sheet in the creek behind the complex. That led us to then take the suspect to the police department where he was interviewed and, uh, and ultimately uh, an arrest warrant was issued. Investigators say they also found evidence in Britain's car matching evidence recovered near Deja's body. It's a very uh, a traumatic thing that happened and our, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. This disturbing and tragic case has left the community grappling with shock and sorrow in the wake of Deja Hood's untimely death. Among those affected deeply by this heartbreaking loss was her best friend, Sarah Evans, who shared her memories of her close friend Deja, who she considered more like a sister. Sarah Evans says they weren't just best friends, but they were more like sisters. She says Deja Hood was the most positive, genuine soul that will be missed by everyone. A best friend's worst nightmare. But it really just hurt my heart. It did. It hurt my heart that she had to sit there and suffer. Sarah Evans still feels like she's in a dream after hearing reports of her best friend Deja Hood murdered on Tuesday. I've been making it. I've been just, I like, I've just been asleep because every time I'm up, I think about it. I think about it. I think about it every second of the day. She doesn't want Deja to just be seen as a victim of violence, but wants the world to know the girl she's known since high school. She's like, she's like a mom. She has a mom mentality, like a hundred percent. Like she, she cared for everybody. She loved everybody. Before her death, 18-year-old Deja Hood went to Sarah for everything. Lately, for career advice. She liked doing hair, like installing wigs and stuff, coloring wigs. And she just, she likes trying different stuff. The relationship was effortless with good moments. Both girls planning to move and live in a big city like Houston one day. Dreams cut short in the hands of someone else. He didn't only hurt her, he hurt a lot of people. He hurt a lot of people. Deja's character and heart leaving a hole in Sarah's. She had good intentions. She had only posit positive intentions on everybody. At one point, Deja couldn't imagine life without Sarah as she gets ready to go to the Navy. She was just like, she don't know what she's going to do. She don't know who she's going to talk to. And she was like, she was just really going to miss me and stuff. Now Sarah has to map out life without her best friend. What happened to Deja Hood is a tragedy beyond words. She went over to a friend's house to help him move, and in return, he brutally took her life. This crime is unimaginable. Deja clearly trusted Britain and would never think he was capable of harming her. She even brought a one-year-old that was in her care at the time to his home. There was no indication that she ever believed he was capable of harming her. She was thoughtful and caring and was lending a helping hand to a friend while she was also busy trying to babysit a one-year-old child. My condolences to her friends and family. She did not deserve what happened to her. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.